This is Twit. We had a chaos computer convention uh, that just occurred, and uh, oh no, that's that's the wrong topic. Well, okay, I'll talk about that first. Um, and um, and you did talk about this during Mac Break Weekly, the so-called Thunderstrike exploit. <sighs> And yes, as as you also noted, we've we've commented and we did over the the holidays for the holiday podcast that you really have to have a good name for an exploit in order for it to get hooked or or you know to, for it to really get picked up. And of course, the famous one was Heartbleed, where it came fully with a website and its own logo when when the Heartbleed vulnerability hit us last year, Thunderstrike has at least a good name. And we already anticipated the problem on the podca- on this podcast because I did mention some time ago that Thunderstrike offered the same, you could almost argue, too much power that the FireWire interface does or did since FireWire is sort of fading. And that is... It is a a very high performance direct connection to the system bus, um, and it allows the peripheral to be a master on the bus, not just a slave. And if the peripheral can be a master, it's able to generate both the addresses and the data, and that means. It's like another processor. It's like a. It's like a something as powerful as the processor, outside the, outside the case, which you're connecting through a a serialized interface. So, I mean, and, and even Wikipedia on they have a, a a page called DMA Attack, and because this is a direct memory access DMA. Um, vulnerability that's built into the specification. And in, on the Wikipedia page, they say examples of connections that may allow DMA in some exploitable form include Firewire, Express Card, Thunderbolt, PCI, and PCI Express. And that's absolutely right. Those are all bus level interfaces. Now, we've seen it is a Firewire the, attack, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, there was a there was a famous you know credential you know key extraction through FireWire where somebody plugs the, a little box into your Mac when you're not looking and is able to rummage around in RAM. I mean, you have they have complete access to memory. Well, it turns out that in the case of Thunderstrike, there is similarly bus level access. To the firmware. The firmware of the Mac is just a region of memory. And what this Thunderstrike does is leverage its access to the firmware in order, and, 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 well, I mean, like to the entire hardware of the machine to rewrite the firmware and then change the, the public key, which is in the Mac, to which is used to verify any additional firmware updates so that it can't be removed. So it's, it is, it, the good news is it is hardware level physical access required. The bad news is um, if you get infected with this, you can't get rid of it. Now, Apple has already released some um, updates for the a current one of the minis and something else, and I'm, and they will absolutely, you know, they're responding to this as quickly as they can, and there are th- things they can do to mitigate this because there are controls that are apparently not in place in at the hardware level where you can restrict the re- the regions and ranges of memory access through, um, uh, uh, through Thunderbolt, and and so. Apple's going to get better about doing that. So I'm sure we'll see some updates to these systems, and they're already pushing them out for a few platforms, and I'm sure they'll they'll give us coverage because, you know, this is not good. Yeah, but you do have, to all, have physical but, access to the system to do it, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You've got to plug something in to the thun- physically into the Thunderbolt connector. Well, and really what you're doing like is you're, you're plugging it. Like bad USB, you could actually have a corrupt device, right? 
Would that be possible? Sure. Sure. So you could have a corrupt Thunderbolt drive that would then right. affect the computer. Yeah, I saw some notions of like a, a, a crossover with NSA saying that, you know, this is the sort of thing that they that some of the sl the Snowden slides were were implying that they were able to do. And so we may be foreclosing another one of their tricks by by locking this down and and uh, and being more secure with what Thunderbolt is able to access. I'm sure, there'll be more. Yeah.